Hi guys, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. This is my mustache parakeet, Picasso, you guys know him and how he loves his beats. And this is my gala cockatoo, Vinny. Vinny is actually named after my favorite movie, My Cousin Vinny. If you're looking for Jersey and Rocky today, they are both having their nap time. Um, I really like to enforce nap time for the birds. Basically, you know, after breakfast, a little bit of lunch, I give them like a really good meal and then they get like really tired and then they poof up and then they sit down and they're just quiet. And if you can get them used to that kind of routine, then you'll have a few hours in your day to get stuff done without them making noise, without them like wanting to play. And it's good for them because they also need to rest, especially if you play with your birds a lot, which you should. Um, this is a really good time for them to just, usually from like two o'clock to maybe four o'clock, the birds like to rest. But Picasso, he doesn't mind coming out and playing. You see, he's very busy with his beads. If you guys remember the mop from last week, um, it's really working for him. He loves it. And uh, Vinny always loves to be included. He has like his own little nap schedule. So today, I want to talk about pellets. I know we've spoken about them before, but a lot of you are asking me, how do you get your birds to eat pellets? Because it's really hard, like especially if your birds are used to like a seed diet, which of course you guys know you need to give your birds more than just seeds, right? So they should be eating a lot of nutritious fruits and vegetables all the time. And um, also protein, eggs are good protein for birds, but never give your birds too much protein because it can actually cause them gout and um, it's, it's not good for them. So I know that's a lot of information, but today we're gonna talk about pellets. And this is what I want you guys to know. Pellets are really great for your birds. They've got a lot of nutritional value, but they're really hard to get your birds to eat them. So a lot of people ask me, what do you do? So I found a little way to trick my birds. First thing is, this is my bird's play stand, okay? This is where they are, where they think they're getting entertained and having fun and getting snacks. The first thing I did was get my birds used to the idea that when they get snacks or their favorite fruits or their favorite vegetables, they get it on the stand. Um, the main reason for this is because sometimes fruits and vegetables, you don't wanna mix it with the seeds. You always wanna have your own dish for that because it can really like ruin all the rest of the food and if you forget to take it out, it'll rot. So always be mindful of that. Always clean the dishes afterwards. Don't leave any rotting fruit or vegetables. But if I can get the birds used to the fact that this is their snack time, then the things that you put in their bowl around this area are always gonna be the things that they think you consider to be the most exciting things. So if you guys see this bowl screws on, it's okay because so you wanna come sit with me? This bowl screws on right here. So what I would do is this. I would put a little in here. This time I got like a variation, so it looks really different from the ones that I put in their cage. And I put it in here, and I just leave it, and I make sure that it's the only thing on the play stand. This way, if you're worried that your birds are not gonna eat it, it's okay, they have food in their cage. If they don't wanna eat on their stand, here, Picasso wants to see what it is. Let me tighten it. Go ahead, see what's in there, baby. Now he already knows about the pellets. This isn't new to him, so let's see <laughs> what his behavior is like. <laughs> yeah, he's like, man, mom, that's not a snack. Why are you doing this to me? It's because he gets them all the time in this cage. So basically, a really good thing to do, in short, is to make it kind of like their snack that they only get on their stand at first. This way they kind of think it's a treat. They kind of think maybe it's fun. Maybe it's the fun thing to eat, okay? Then when you see that they might start liking it, because if it's there for a while, they'll at least start chewing it to chop it up. Then you add just a few of them to their regular food. So what you would do is just put like this many in their food. Watch it, see if they ate it. 
if they ate it, put a little more add to their food. Maybe like, I don't know if you can see, but about that much. And then reduce their other food a little bit, just like, you know, until you get like 50-50. Once you get 50-50, just analyze what it is that they're eating. If they're throwing it out or refusing to eat it, it's going to take a lot longer. But if they're chewing it up, even if it's like all chewed up into like little pieces, then you actually have a chance because before you know it, they will start swallowing it. So, um, and then when you see that they are eating the pellets, then you can start getting, you know, the 75%, 25%, and then until you get to 100% pellets. But of course, pellets are never going to be enough. You need to give your bird a nutritional diet fruits, vegetables, never give your bird avocado, chocolate, too much sugar, anything like that. Believe me guys, they will find it without you even, you know, giving it to them. They will discover it because as you know, they're like little children. So just be mindful of that. But um, if your birds really, really after a long time, never eat the pellets, there's not much you can do, but it takes a long time of trying. I mean, literally, whether Jersey wants to eat them or not, they are in her cage now. They've been there for like years. Now Vinny really likes them, which I'm really excited about. Right, Vinny? You like them? So, wanna try some? He's like, not right now. So I got lucky with that. I did it on all my birds, and Rocky loves pellets. He only eats pellets. Um, Vinny loves the pellets too, but he loves to have his almonds. And um, Picasso, let's see. Aha, and there it is. So as you guys can see, putting it on the stand and making it the only thing available, it's a really good idea because what happens here is, remember, you're not worried if your bird is starving because he's got his own food in his cage and then this becomes his snack time food. So basically he's got to associate it with an area of treats, an area of fun, an area of play. So try that. Let me know what happens, guys. Um, I'm not saying it's always gonna be 100% successful because you know what, these birds have tastes of their own. So therefore you could try different pellets. There's fruit flavor, there's the regular flavor, there's so many different styles. Like this is their first time having these brown ones. It's also by Supreme, but it's the, the blend flavor. So it's different than what I usually give them. So that gives them a little bit more excitement, a little more willingness to try. So that is what I have for you today. We love when you guys subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, Facebook. We try to answer your questions as much as we can. When I say we, I mean, of course, the birds, because they're always right there with me. Um, and I love hearing your comments. Remember guys, encourage people to leave their birds out of cages. You do not buy a bird to keep them in a cage. It's extremely important that you guys know that and spread that. Birds are so amazing and so cool. People love them, love watching. Bird videos are so popular right now. Everyone wants to run out and get a bird, but you gotta encourage people. Let them know you don't keep dogs in cages and you don't keep birds in cages. So that's it for today, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.